Hello everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily make an Instagram reel using a stock video and a quote. Please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let's jump into it. All right, so we're gonna go into Canva. They have a ton of stock videos and photos that you can use. So I'm gonna click on Instagram story size. So it's the right size for our phone screen. And then I'm gonna scroll down to video. There are a ton of pro options here, but for our purposes, I'm gonna find a free version. At first I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna do a quote I'll do some some sort of inspiring video. And then I thought, you know what, peace and love. Let's do something that's chill worthy. So I thought this one, it's sized for landscape. So you've gotta keep that in mind when you are choosing your videos. This one could totally work. I love the very slight movement, but overall, I'm not gonna use this one. I love this coconut drink on the beach. It's so chill, I'm gonna use this one. So I'm gonna make it as large as the Instagram story size, and then I'm gonna adjust so that the coconut, everything is just, ugh, this is beautiful and very aesthetically pleasing to my eyeballs. You can see it's 23.2 seconds long. I'm not gonna use all of that for the story or for the reel, but you know. So I'm gonna click share, download, and then download. Now I'm gonna go into Instagram. I'm gonna click the plus on the top and reel. I'm gonna choose the video I just airdropped to myself from Canva. And now I need to pick music. So I'm gonna click the music note at the top and just scroll through. And I'm looking for both a song that fits the vibe of this reel, the image, the video that I picked, and one that's trending. And you know that when it's got that upward facing arrow next to the song title. So I'm gonna pick this one. I think this is perfect. Click done. Now I need to add text. So I'm clicking on the AA button on the top right. And then I'm copying and pasting a quote that I found on the internet. <laughs> and you can see it's a little too wide here because I want the text to be larger. So I'm just gonna manually break it up, put some line breaks in here, and then play around with some different fonts. I'm pretty sure this is the one I wanna go with, but it never hurts just to see what your options are. Yeah, so I definitely made the right choice in the beginning. Let's go with this one and let's change the color because this white is a little hard to see. This font in general is kind of hard to read anyway, but I'm willing to go with it because look how beautiful it is. It really fits the vibe. So there we go. So since this video is 23 seconds long, uh, it doesn't need to be that long. So I'm gonna make it around seven seconds. And I think that is perfect. Then we'll click next and we'll choose our cover image. We can slide to wherever we would like it. And make sure you always check on the profile grid image to make sure it's nice and aligned and centered. I'm just gonna add my caption, add the quote here and some emojis. Feel free to add any hashtags. And if you'd like to tag a location or tag people, you can do so here and share it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And if there's a tutorial that you would like me to create, please let me know in the comments below. See you in the next one. Bye.